so hello everyone i am ruben actually and this is my first video on youtube and i have started this channel because i love cars and i want to just share my experience with you all and uh, i am studying in the 9th standard and my age is 14 years and today uh, our first car we are going to review is the jeep meridian which is the new car in india as and first we are going to look at the keys of the car which we have here we get the unlock button the lock button and the boot button so if we come to the looks of the jeep meridian we first look at the bonnet bonnet and here we get the two uh, front washers of the car and if we come down a bit we get the muscular crease folding over here which goes see from here and the jeep logo also in chrome and beneath there is the signature 7 slot grill covered with uh, covered with chrome and uh, here we get the uh, headlights which has the low beam the high beam and the led strip running over it upon it and uh, if we come down we get the fog lamps over here and the air dam also here which is covered uh, upon and beneath both with both sides with chrome which looks good and the number plate and the upper grill and the air dam is both separated with the body color which looks good and in total uh, in the from the front it actually looks uh, muscular punchier and beefier which gives uh, gives it a more aggressive look and if we come to the side of the car when we first come over here we see the bumper divider in black uh, which covers the whole car and gives it a gives it a good outline and if we come to the uh, alloy wheels so here we actually get the Y spoke smart alloy wheels which look great with this car here we can see that a chrome strip running from the ORVMs straight to the back part of the car this model is actually the limited model and uh, automatic transmission so this is in the limited optional model you get the dual tone white uh, any color and the black one but this is the limited so we don't get dual tone this is only white here we also get the roof rails added with the car and with, there is a chrome finish running across it which also looks smart uh, then here we get the body uh, color door handles here we get the ORVMs body colored and with chrome finish the meridian written over here and jeep this is an accessory we get on this car this is one then this is actually the BS6 so as per the government rule this has the avenue to reduce the pollution this has a 60 liter of uh, tank capacity which goes along so if, if you are going where there are not much of uh, uh, patrol pumps then it will help for long journeys if we come back we see, uh, still here get the chrome strip straight over till here and uh, if you come to the back part of the car we get the rear light the black over here again use of black the rear washer the wiper rear wiper the slim led lights over here and the chrome and the, this chrome is actually used to highlight jeep mentioned here and here we get the rear camera if we take the limited option model we get the 360 degree camera but this is the limited so we only get the rear camera here we get the number plate beneath we get the bumper divider in black with chrome which looks good and here is the backlight the reflectors of it and the backlight reverse light. here we get the sensors of the car and a silver skip plate beneath it so if we talk about the boot capacity of this car it gets 170 liters of the boot, of boot space when this, the third row seats are and if the third row seats are down it's actually 481 liters of so quite of luggage can be fit in the car so if we talk about the length width and the height of the car wheelbase and the ground clearance of the car the length of this car is 4769 mm 
and the width of the car is 1859 width of the car is 1698 mm the wheelbase of the car is 2782 mm and the ground clearance of the car is 203 mm so hello everyone we are back in the interior of the jeep meridian and if we have a look on the vents of the car we here get actually the vents and a chrome strut running over it across it the whole part covering the whole dashboard and beneath we get this car actually gets the dual tone while the jeep compass only gets the single black color so this gets black and brown here upon is the uh, black soft touch and uh, here we is the use of leather in brown color here we get the uh, black piano finish and a chrome strip again from here to there covering the whole dashboard so here we started the car we just have to press the brake and push, uh, push the start stop button here we get the instrumental cluster here on the left side we get the odometer on the right side we get the speedometer and between we actually get the in uh, MID screen if we take the limited optional model we get the 10.25 inches di driver's digital display which covers the whole display but this is the limited so we get the analog version and the MID screen both and uh, here is the uh, wiper controls and the uh, here is the sorry I mistake uh, here is the indicator control and here is the wiper control here we get the Jeep logo and the whole steering uh, leather wrap chrome used uh, chrome is also used here in the steering and here from here we can control the mid screen uh, this car also actually gets the tire pressure monitor which is good and uh, what is the range and all what's the average and uh, here we can uh, control we can use the cruise control from here here we get to hold the car uh, and here also we get the calling controls of the which is uh, control from the infotainment screen if we turn on the infotainment screen if we turn on the infotainment screen we uh, here actually we get the location uh, the settings rear view camera then we also get the location we can also we have maps in this car then audio controls then climate control and many other things like that then this also gets the apple car play and android auto and beneath we get the auto start stop car here we get the traction control the parking light the parking sensors and the airbag sign is it on or off beneath we get the air vents of the car and if we come again a bit lower we get the climate control of the of this car we get the dual zone climate control in this car if we come down a bit we get the here we get the UPSC port the USB port beneath it and a wireless charging pad and uh, if we come a bit back here we get the parking brakes this is the automatic version so automatic gear then if we take the limited uh, optional 4x4 here we get the modes of the uh, off-road modes like snow sand and mud and uh, the options of four wheel drive four low traction hill start assist and all are over here we here get the two cup holders a place to keep your key and a place to keep your phone also and here's also a chrome strip over here chrome is pretty much used in this car everywhere so here we also get the light controls over here and the frequency how low or high here we also get the ORVM controls the window control and the door handles in chrome finish and lock and lock button lock and lock button and the windows start stop thing and a space in a bit here to keep something and down we get the and down we get the uh, bottle bottle holder and some space for keeping something the bottle holder is a bit small so for keeping a one liter bottle it will not fit but still it's decent not a problem and uh, 
the OIVM control is electronically adjustable and closable If we talk about the safety of the Jeep Meridian, we get six airbags with ABS, EBD, EPD, electronic stability control, hill start assist, isofix, child seating, and many other features. It is actually a pretty safe car as Jeep models uh, and is wonderful in performance. Safety features are it also gets brake assist and traction control too. And a uh, Jeep claims the average of the Jeep Meridian to be 16.2 liters. So going into the third row is not much difficult. You just have to press it, and it's just easy. Get I get inside. It's actually a bit tight in space because you can't actually put your knees over here. They are my, my knees are also touching, and I'm not able to sit. Uh, and this problem is actually because the second row cannot be moved front or backwards so the space between the second row and the third row cannot be adjusted and there's a big thing which is good that they can be reclined from here they can be reclined from here so to add a bit, bit more comfort comfort to the right but still there's a much space problem So hello everyone, we are back in the second row of the Jeep Meridian and it's not a much effort to get in because actually it's a bit so you don't have to put much effort into sitting in and if we look at the side we get the door handles there's a twitter over here, a speaker we get the door control, the window control, the door handles, the space and the door pockets the speaker over again of the Alpine and then if we talk about the space uh, uh, the knee room is actually pretty decent the thigh support is good the head room is um, okay and uh, we get the uh, seat pockets over here and uh, actually it's pretty comfortable for a long journey and as well they can be also reclined a bit and here we get the AC vents of the car uh, they are good but they are a bit small here we get the logo of the Jeep, then we get the USB port, and uh, here there's a tissue holder, and uh, an armrest with twin cup holders, and a bit space to keep your phone. Then, uh, 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 if we get the limited option, you can actually get a panoramic sunroof, so it feels a bit wide open, and uh, feels good like we are around the nature and all, and there are some grab handles over here and lights if we drop the engine of this car we get a 2 litre turbo diesel engine which puts out 1956 cc with 4 cylinders which puts out 1170 horsepower and 350 newton meter of torque which we achieve at 3750 and 1750 to uh, 2500 rpm so if we talk about the rivals of the jeep meridian there are many but i will uh, mention some few they are like toyota fortune mg gloucester xuv 700 skoda kodiak etc and if i think uh, of the suggestions to improve on this car is the first thing is they should improve the space of the third row which is actually a bit less and it, it is uncomfortable for adults, uh, but it sometimes it's un it's un uncomfortable for children too. And uh, the second thing is means produce a engine which is more powerful because it's the same as the Jeep Compass, and but this Jeep Meridian is a bit heavier, so it takes time to for pick in pick up. And uh, in the third thing is uh, they should add the ADAS system also to the car as uh, many cars in this price bracket of my opinion on it is it's actually a pretty good car for long journeys I like it it's comfortable for long drives it's good its performance is adequate and uh, the thing uh, and also I like the car because it's pretty safe and uh, I think that you should definitely give it a try